Hello everyone. Welcome to the second tutorial in this uh, series of complete guide to Java. So in this tutorial, we are going to see what is class, what is constructor and objects in Java. So Java is a object oriented programming. So what do you mean by object oriented programming is everything in java is talked or done by or with the help of objects and it would also define a class and object would be an instance of a class in simple words class is nothing but a block between open braces and a close braces consider if you have a factory and inside a factory the employee union would be is there right so that would be considered as a class employee union is one class and inside a factory there would be raw material that would be an other class so like that a class is nothing but a block a building block in code is called as a class so what is object object is nothing but an instance of a class instance of a class in the sense say for example if you have employee union itself there will be many number of employees are there right so the n number of employees are nothing but instance of employee union so you can duplicate duplicate not i can put the word duplicate rather than you can just clone the entire class into a single instance that is called object in java in other words class is nothing but a blueprint which would have functions as well as variables and all the functions and the variables should be present inside a class so you can ask me a question if uh, is there any code that would exist outside the class yes there would be like import would be there and uh, annotation would be there which is which we are going to see in uh, future so you can also mention a package name it which it belongs to so those codes are some generic codes but the actual operations of a class or the op actual object is present inside class say for example if you want to write a class to add two numbers and you would give any input like one or two or it is undetermined like you can give any other variable but that should return a value sum of two values so this function where it is calculating the sum of two values would be present inside a function and that would be present in a class hope uh, this would uh, explain you better and you you could have understood um, what is class and what is object is and what is constructor is nothing but constructor is an another block where its name would be same as the class name there might be a question that would arise in your mind what is the use of it say for example when you are creating an object itself there are certain things that needs to be happened or certain things that needs to be done by default constructor would be helpful for you and if you are not mentioning any constructor in a class by default every class will have a constructor implicitly implicitly means you don't have to mention that it would be already been present and you can use it directly so we'll get into practical session right now so in the previous tutorial i would have uh, shown you like how to install eclipse and uh, i'll show you right now like after installing eclipse how to create a new project so go to file 
and inside file you have to click on dynamic web project so i have already created one after clicking dynamic web project you have to give name so i have given as a java programming like this so inside this java programming file sorry project which is nothing but a dynamic web project what i am going to do is i am going to have something called as a java resources like that so i am going to expand that and inside that source folder is there over here i am going to create each and every package based on i am discussing so i have created one package called tutorial 2 for which i have uh, done some code right now right so those codes would be present in this package so how to create a package right click on source in eclipse and you would see new so make sure you have a uh, enough amount of memory in your machine because um, eclipse is something that would consume more amount of time and more memory space so right now i just right clicked and it is going for not responding so right click and over new you can find something called as a package that is present so you can give tutorial to like that i have already given so i am not going to give right now i am going to expand tutorial to inside this i have already created one employee job employee class so let me show you by creating an another class for you so right now what i'll do is i create a new class and i am going to call it as raw material like that or materials so i am going to give material so make sure whatever the class name and the file name should be one and the same so if you give material and um, you can also choose like if you want like this so it is up to you your um, i mean way of uh, doing things and i am going to click on this and click on finish so automatically a class would be created for me a java class would be created for me and uh, the class name would be material and uh, file name is also the, will be one and the same so you can think like employee.java file right but uh, basically what happens it is getting converted into a class files and the class files is been converted into a byte code and which understands and then it executes so in material.java you can find as i mentioned earlier a package would be present this belongs to tutorial 2 right so hence this package is being mentioned and this is what the class is the class looks like this as i said open braces and close braces in between this one is present so one more thing i just want to keep you posted over here is over here you have a class which is a building block right you don't have a constructor over here you can see that you don't have a constructor over here but you can access the constructor so how am i going to uh, do that is so if i am going to create any object at first i need to import it so inside this material.java what i am going to do is i am going to import employee.java class so i am going to type employee over here your eclipse is advanced in such a way it would automatically find that you are asking me to use employee class so what i am going to do is i am going to import like that it would give you an option so over here you have employee and the employee class so in this case the employee class is present inside the same package which is nothing but package tutorial 2 and hence we are not importing it if this particular class material was outside 
this tutorial to package then I need to write some code like import right import um, tutorial to dot you have to give the class name so right now I'm going to delete it because uh, it is all I mean it is present in the same package so how am I going to create an object is by using class name and you can give any name I have given small employee you can also give whatever the name you want let me I mean I put EMP also and new employee so over here employee is nothing but a constructor if you take an employee class over there there is no constructor itself so what I am going to do is over here over here I have explained you what is class this is nothing but a building block over here employee class this is a material class and I have also explained what is an object how to create an object by this way you can uh, create an object there are other ways also we can create a we can create an object which I will explain you um, after some time and uh, you have created an object and constructor so the constructor over here is implicitly present but you can also write constructor of your own so I am going to write constructor of my own so over here for this class I am the constructor like this public employee and I am going to write some code like this system.out.println is nothing but a code to print the contents inside console over here this is a console over here it would print so mostly in a real time application we use logger uh, since I mean uh, this is very tiny so uh, we are not going to use logger over here and uh, we are going to use sys.out.println so over here I am going to write something like so whatever the contents that is going to be written in the console it should be a string and it can also be a number but anyway like over here it would be displayed as a string by default it would convert the integer also to a string and it would display over here so that is the characteristic of system.out.println so I am going to put a message I have been called from the constructor you have written I'm going to save it going to this class and um, I'm planning to run it so in order to run it what you have to do is you have to right click on the class if it is have a main functions then you can right click run as and then you can run it I will explain in next tutorial what is this main uh, and other things is doing as of now we are going to understand what is class object and constructor so I'll show you like how to run it right click run as Java applications and this would give you the results so I am going to create a new employee over here and this new employee has been oh, I've been called from the constructor so we have a third constructor we have overridden the default constructor what you mean by overridden is say for example if you are having a coffee and in that coffee you are adding some extra taste like chocolate coffee like that and all so that is you are overriding the actual taste of the coffee itself so like that over here there, should, there is a default constructor for the employee class and I am overriding it which is implicitly present I am overriding it by mentioning these codes so whenever the instance for this particular class is being created itself at that time automatically what happens the constructor is getting accessed so that's all I have in this tutorial and um, in the next tutorial i'll come up with some other topics and please feel free to subscribe thanks